Welcome back to the Dolly Cam, everybody. We are here live at the London International Doll and Bear Show. And boy, do we have a treat for you. This is one of my favorite pers people in the entire world and one of my favorite Ruby Lane shop owners to interview. He is a teddy bear expert. He is known all over the world for his craft. He's a wonderful person. We are going to interview and see some of the wonderful bears belonging to John Port. John. Hi, it's so fun to see you in hello. London. Yeah, hello from England. Yes, hello from England. It's so exciting to be here. The show is incredible. I'm so excited. It's I've a, already spent a full time. You have? Yeah. Oh, good for you. That's important. And, and so a lot of so it's, it's a great show. Well, I'm moving my microphone here so I can hear you. So you have, uh, you have some teddies here for sale. And can we talk about them and see them? I brought a few Americans and then I brought some Stife. This is an early American that you could get the teddy bear kit in a magazine and it would be sent with what they called the bear skin cloth. Okay. And they could put it together. So some mother probably, you know, right before Christmas got it for her child and sewed it up and put it together and that was probably their teddy on the prairie. Oh, teddy yeah. on the prairie. It's so sweet. It was a more of an economical way to get a teddy. Yes. It's more special. There's so much love in that that there is. makes me happy. And he's in actually remarkable condition. He is. I mean, somebody took very good care of him. Many of them you find are just loved to pieces. Absolutely. Love to. We love to. You have some wonderful bears, some great examples. Was it hard for you to choose? You know, I took only one case this time mm -hmm. by myself. So I had to kind of pick a little variety. Mm -hmm. And so I, I wanted to bring a variety to the show. Yes. And then Dottie Ayers that was supposed to be with me couldn't make it. Her flight was canceled. Oh, that's... So I have two big tables with a few things. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's space for people to move. They can uh, lay down if they want. They could take a nap. <laughs> You've got some wonderful smalls here. I'm looking at this teddy. These are the little three and a half inch stifes. This is from about 1910, 1915. He's from about 1909. Remarkable. I'm surprised they even survived. They're so small. Why did they make such small teddies like that? Because they were for little children to hold in their hands. So sweet. Things. And when I was little, my mother would go to the toy store and make them take all of them out of the case so she could pick just the right faces. Oh, I love it. Your mother was such a good shopper. She really taught you well how to spot all the... Yes, Rachel, we all have the, great mothers that were yes. great shoppers. Yes, and they, taught us <laughs> and they taught us very well. That's right. What else do we have this here? This is a BMC. These were only made for about two years, and he's from about 1907. He is an gorgeous. Company, and they were made on Broom Street in New York City. What a personality. Isn't that funny? BMC. BMC, Bruin Manufacturing Company. Gosh, there's so much to learn. Yeah. There's so many different There's so companies. many. Who's this little guy in the this shoe? This is a little stife, and she has just been loved hairless. Now, how does she, she is, is she, how is she a she? She has a little skirt oh, on. Oh, she has a skirt on. Yeah. Oh, Poor bless Tonga. her. Oh, my gosh. And she's been in this shoe, and she even has a little crown. She has been loved she hairless. She deserves it. She's like a hairless cat. I she absolutely is. love her. Yep. She's got stories, I'm sure. Oh, she's wonderful. And then it, down here, we have a few stifes. Well, this it's, guy is phenomenal. He is a blank button, 1905 to 1906. And he is very soft and squishy, full of K-pop. After oh, they did the mod bear, which mm. was very, very hard and stiff, they went the opposite and made them very light. Mm. Light as a feather, so children could really love them and, and squeeze them. So he's very early. Do you have any rod bears? I have. You. you have a few? Oh, I love it. We'll have to do a rod bear discussion sometime. And this, this is wonderful. This is a little guy from early 1907. He's also very light as a feather, and he has his original little overalls on that I'm sure somebody made for him a long time ago. And he has got his FF button, mm -hmm. which means he dates from about 1907 on. He's and in he has remarkable a condition. And he is, he's in really super condition. And then this little guy over here is a stife. And he's been loved. I mean, he's he's had visits from the moth fairies. Aww. And he's just been loved. He is still in but, just you know beautiful what? condition has again. Personality. The stife bears are, they have many characteristics, but they one do. of them is those long arms. Yes, long arms, pointed nose, mm -hmm. long, thin ankles. 
these were uh, Admiral Perry dolls. These were done in about 1909 by several different companies. Hahn and Amberg was one of them. And they were to represent when the North Pole was discovered by Admiral Perry. And they're called Teddy dolls now. People call them Teddy dolls. Teddy dolls. Love them. And those are celluloid heads? Celluloid, celluloid faces. heads. Enjoy faces. Hair bodies. You have some customers here, so you can duck out if you need to. We are enjoying your wonderful booth. We are here with oh, John Port. This is not a customer. This, this is, is not Pat a. John Hi, Pat. Teddy's of Mount Holly in New Jersey is a fantastic shop. How so wonderful. And she came all the way here. Isn't it great to be here? Yeah, it's fabulous to be here. We wouldn't be anyplace else. Is this your first time at this particular show? Oh, no. We've been here since the beginning. Since the beginning. This is the third year, and this is our first year, and we're so happy to be here. She tends to follow me everywhere. Hey, you know what? Like a bad <laughs> a good John knows all the all the wonderful places to be, so this is I'm just fantastic. If you guys would like to shop with John Port on Ruby Lane, just Google or go to Ruby Lane and type in the Port Collection, and you can see the wonderful bears and items and dolls that he has. You can also contact him through his shop if you see something at the show that you have to have. Hopefully, he sells out of everything, but you can actually shop the video by contacting John and uh, getting in touch with him. He is a gem a marvelous person, an expert in his field, and he also does appraisals and anything else, and anything that's bear related. You're the man. I'm the bear man. He's the bear man. That's right. So we hope you guys enjoyed this interview with John. We will be back on about every 20 minutes out here at the London International Doll and Bear Show. Look at that, everybody. It's an incredible room. John, do you do very many international shows just out of I curiosity? I come here about four times a year between here and Germany. Mm -hmm. And I have it in Holland, actually. And so it's nice to be back and see the people and all my friends from over here. It's, yes. It's been a total joy. Wonderful. Good for the soul. It is. It's Me too. All right, John, we'll see you a little bit later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.